What's up guys, I'm Mike from The Lost Co. I'm in the middle of nowhere in Whistler right now. Just got done with two days in Whistler Bike Park and uh, did not plan on shooting this video. Really, I just came up here to test out this new bicycle that I just built up. More on that later. I'm just in the middle of the woods right now because I found this cool spot because, oh, there's mosquitoes everywhere. Jeez, get out of here for a second. So I basically just pulled over on the side of the road just to film a quick first impressions review on a new bike part that is not only new to the market, but also new to me. And that is the Maxxis Asa Guy. This is the newest tire from Maxxis. And so of course I had to try it out on this new bike build for myself. And it's pretty cool the past two days in the bike park it was varying conditions. So the first day, it was super dusty, dry, pretty blown out in some spots, random grease here and there. But then second day, it rained like, it, I don't even know how much. It rained a lot uh, within the first like hour of the day. Everything was just a giant mud puddle. So riding over on the Creekside trails, like delayed fuse and things like that, it was, it was basically just like a giant mud pit the entire way down. <laughs> Jesus, so it's pretty cool. I got a lot of varying conditions for this new tire setup. I've got the 2.5 Asa Guy in the front matched with the Minion SS Semi-Slick in the rear. This is pretty much a business in the front, party in the back tire setup. Really, really, really how I like my bike to feel with the rear end super loose, drifty, and slidey, but the front just like super grippy, super grabby, and I can really trust the front end to go exactly where I'm pointing it. So. So far, this is really impressing me. Compared to the Minion DHF, it's definitely better in mud. It was not clogged with mud at all the entire time I was riding the Muddy Creekside trails. Whereas I feel like with the DHF, it would have been pretty clogged up. And overall, the side lugs are a little bit taller and more in line. And I really think that that helped the tire keep its edge in really sketchy spots. There'd be a lot of off-camber corners that I'd go into and it would be just like a total mud fest with a bunch of off-camber roots pointing right into it. And the tire just hooked up. So it was really cool, super trustworthy tire in the front. But at the same time, on the first day where everything was super dusty and blown out, it held its edge really, really good diving into super dry corners. So it did everything really, really well. It rolls decently fast. It's not the fastest rolling tire, but it's a front tire, who really cares? And overall, just mega, mega grippy on like marbly loose stuff. And then second day in the mud and off camber roots, I was able to actually like change my line a couple times where I'd see the trail in front of me and it would be a bunch of off camber roots facing to the right. I was stuck in that bottom right line, but then there would be a corner coming up and I wanted to get up high and pitch up to the other side of the trail across off camber roots and rocks and I was able to just totally just like swing the bike up there and dive into the corner. It was like, like I said, trustworthy, uh, just, I don't know, man. I could just point the tire where I wanted to go and I went there. It was sick, it was really, really cool. I'd really recommend trying this tire, seriously. I'm really, really impressed. I'm not gonna say it yet, but this might be the best front tire that I've used so far. I've got the 2.5, 3C Max Grip Double Down Asa Guy on the front of my bike. The Double Down is a more durable sidewall and casing, so it's not as flexy and flimsy when you're diving into hard corners and smashing over roots and rocks and things like that. The Max Grip Compound is super soft, like tacky, mega spongy, just grippy rubber, and it's really, really good. So. Uh, First impressions, this tire is sick. Sorry, there's not really any riding shots in this video. It was just pouring rain and I did not want to risk having my camera out in the pouring rain to get the riding shots. So we will have a totally in-depth, full review of the Asa Guy here in a couple weeks after we spend a little bit more time with it with some riding shots, time out on the trail, get the full review going. If you guys want to try the Asa Guy and let me know your first impressions, you can click this link Head right over to our website, lostco.com. Grab one of these tires, free shipping, no matter where you're at in the USA. And pick out your casing and compound and try one out. Let me know how you like it. Happy trails.